Today we're going to be taking a look at testing out GitHub's webhooks locally and the way we're going to do that is using um, the PHP inbuilt web server and then we're also going to use another tool called ngrok to help us out. So to get started let's um, start up a PHP web server. So I'm just going to create a new project and I'm going to call it PHP server. Let me go to that new project. And I'm going to check out a new file called index.php. Uh, and all index.php is going to do is just going to print out hello. Okay, cool. So now I have my file. Um, let's start up the PHP server. So to do this, we just use PHP and we do uppercase S. And this is going to tell us to start a, tell PHP to start up a server. And we just need to tell it the URL for the server. So in our case, it's going to be running on localhost, and we need to tell it the port. So we want it to be running on port 1234. So let's start that up. You can see we have PHP development server running. Um, now we can go over to our browser. And uh, we can go to localhost 1234. And you can see that we get back hello, which is what we just put there. All right, now the next thing that I wanted to talk about was ngrok. So ngrok is a really cool tool. Um, basically, it's a program that you download and run on your computer and start it up, and you tell it uh, a port or an address where something's running on your server, uh, on your computer, and it will create a publicly accessible URL um, that will uh, forward to that port, basically. Um, so in order to use it, you'll just click on the Downloads page, um, download the version that you need for your computer. Um, just follow the steps here. It's pretty un simple. Unzip it and then you just run it like this at the command line. Um, I already have it downloaded on my computer. Um, so in a new tab, um, you can see I have it um, over here in my user local bin file. Um, and let's just quickly take a look at the, at the help. Um, so you can see ngrok tunnel local ports to public URLs and inspect traffic. Pretty cool, pretty simple. Um, I want to show you this example. This is really uh, how we're going to be using it. So you give it, you tell it, it HTTP, which means to that to work with HTTP traffic, and then you just tell it the port locally that you have the service running on, and um, then what it's going to do is going to create that publicly available URL and just forward it through to the port running on your computer there. So in our case, as we know, it's uh, port one two three four. So we're just going to go ahead and write ngrok HTTP one two three four hit enter and you get um, taken into this screen right here so you can see that now we're online um, you can see that we are forwarding and we're forwarding this URL is going to be forwarded to localhost port 1234 so let's uh, again let's take this URL right here go ahead and copy it and let's go back to, over to our browser and let's go ahead and paste it in and boom we can see hello. So this is the thing that we have running locally, and this is a, a URL that anybody could hit and could get that response uh, back, which is pretty cool. Um, so now the next thing that I wanted to talk about, because this is really one of the most powerful things that ngrok helps out with, is uh, webhooks. Um, and GitHub is a great example of a project that uses webhooks that you might want to take advantage of. So basically GitHub, when you take certain actions, like for example, uh, a, pull rest, a pull request gets open or an issue gets open or closed and, and vice versa, you can configure um, a URL and GitHub will make a request out to send all that information about the, the action that just happened to that URL. Um, and if you're working on a, a program that's doing that um, and you're doing your development locally um, you know it, that will cause an issue how do you how does that request reach your um, local development environment so that's where ngrok comes in handy um, so let's go ahead and test that out in order to set up our webhook um, we just go over here to webhooks um, you can see I actually already have one um, so let's go ahead and edit this and let's find the URL. So we want to forward to this URL. Let's go back over here, put this URL in here. Uh, we're going to send it the uh, xwww form URL encoded format. Um, and we're going to tell it to send us every single thing. So let's go ahead and update the webhook. OK, cool. We just saved that. Um, now let's go back over to our terminal. 
Um, right now, if a request comes through to our index.php file, it's not actually currently handling anything in the, uh, like a post request. It's just returning hello. So let's go ahead and update that index.php file. Uh, PHP server, vim index.php. All right, so now instead of echo, um, let's, we're going to use file put contents to basically log out the request that we received to a log file. That's all we're going to do. Um, and this is the documentation for file put contents. You just tell it a file name and then you give it data and it will just write that data to there. And it, it does everything F open, F write, and F close. So it's pretty nifty for what we're trying to do. Um, so cool. So instead of echo, hello, we're going to do file put contents temp and grok test.log and then let's go ahead and json encode post okay now our index.php running there is going to write anything that it receives in the post request post request to that file um, the temp and grok test file okay cool um, so let's go ahead and make a webhook happen. So we'll go back over to GitHub and uh, let's go over to our issues and let's go ahead and create a new issue. Okay, so this is a new issue. Submit issue. Okay, so now let's go back over to our terminal and let's go ahead and see if that file is there. Uh, Angrock test.log. So you can see this is all the data we just received um, locally. So you could imagine how this is pretty handy. Um, one other thing that I wanted to show you, which is really awesome, um, let's go ahead and this and tail that file, is, so if I go back to ngrok, you can see that there's actually a web interface. And I'm gonna copy that and show you what the web interface looks like. So I head over here and you can see it shows me all the requests that have come through to this server. You can see that was initially when I showed you the demo of the hello and then we got this post request um, from GitHub. Um, and one of the really, really cool things that you can do here is that you can actually replay the request. Um, so if I go ahead and click replay, you can see it replayed the request. And now if I go back over to the file that I'm tailing, you can see all this input just came through. Um, so that's pretty awesome. Um, just as a heads up, you might have noticed this before, but um, GitHub already, ha already has the ability to replay its request that gets sent to um, webhooks, which is pretty cool. So you can see the recent deliveries. Um, and you can re-deliver it, so that's pretty awesome. Um, but this could come in handy for other use cases, the, the replay feature. Um, so that's really what I was hoping to show you today. Um, I hope you saw some of the power of ngrok, and you know, I, I, I'm really excited about this tool. I just, I, I had heard about it recently, um, but I think it's really cool. One of the other great features about it, uh, and it's not new, but one of the other great features about it is if you need to do testing for mobile. So in that case, um, if you're doing local development um, and you want to test on an actual mobile device, you can just start up ngrok, you'll get a, a URL, and then you can pull out your phone or your iPad or whatever uh, and test it out there. So that's another awesome um, use case for it. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.